I'm gonna show you how to find crypto coins and tokens that have pumped over 100% with my free crypto scanner. Hey guys, it's me, Aaron Dishner, AKA Moon and Papa, and I have courses on thebettertraders.com where I can teach anyone how to become a better trader. Here on bettertrader.io is our free better crypto scanner. So to use this, go ahead and hit that try it now button or click on scanner. So when we finally get to this screen, you have a list of five different exchanges. Binance, Coinbase, Gate.io, KuCoin, and OKX. We're gonna go ahead and focus on some lower volume exchanges. We're gonna stay away from Binance and Coinbase because they have a lot of trading volume and we wanna focus on, let's do OKX. Not to say anything negative about OKX, but I know for a fact that they're a lower volume exchange compared to the other two. And we wanna identify trading pairs and markets that have had explosive price actions so that we can trade the follow-up volume. I've had other people ask me in the comment sections below the other videos I've made about the scanner. Why doesn't your scanner give me the pre-pump information? Why is it gonna let me know when a pump happens? What you're hoping for is a crypto metal detector. You're hoping to find the treasure chest before it pops. Now there are things that you can see on a chart that will tell you when volume is increasing, when the price is going stagnant or it's being compressed, it's being pushed down, it's not being allowed to pump. There are things you can look at. It's gonna be hard to find a scanner that's gonna actually accurately do that for you. But here's the thing. When you understand the power of identifying charts that already have had the volatile moves, you can trade inside of that volatility. That's actually the best time to be trading. You want to be trading where the volume is, and that's what this is going to show you. So we're going to stay here on OKX, and when we go here to markets, note that there are several different markets that we can choose from. BTC, DAI, which is a stable coin, DOT, ETH, your T, maybe Euro, OKB, their own token, and USDC, USDT. We're gonna focus specifically on USDT, Ethereum, and Bitcoin, but note that DAI, USDC, and USDT will likely have different prices for the charts that are gonna be listed up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you that first. So first, I'm gonna change the settings to this so that we're gonna look at the biggest spreads and we're gonna sort it by spread high to low. So at the very top of the list is a token that's IGU. So I'm gonna go to USDC and see is IGU at the top. No, it's not. Luna Classic is at the top. I'm gonna go to DAI to see what's on top. Nothing's on top. Nothing is greater than 20%. And I wanna show you this chart right here. So the trading pair is IGU USDT. When I hover over this, it's gonna give me this little information window down there saying that I can click on this and it's gonna open up the last layout that I had open on TradingView. So here we can see that IGU definitely did pump. It pumped up about 163%. We can see a huge increase in volume. Is there any sign of that pump incoming? No, there isn't. We just see the price dragging and dragging. The volume is still staying stable. Then all of a sudden there's a mega pump. But here's the thing. If we were to zoom in on the 15 minute time frame, this type of volatility is fantastic for trading because look what happened. There's actually a second larger pump. Look at that volume right there. The beauty about using the scanner is that I would never have thought to look at IGU USDT. I don't know what's going on with it. And then when I couple the chart with the TBO and with our free TBT based to quote currency converter, I can see, well, how much trading volume could I actually put into this chart? and make sure that I'm a liquid um, trader inside of it. It looks like just 1,500 USDT. So I don't wanna use more than 10% of that, which would basically be no more than 150 USDT per trade. But look at the moves that are inside of this. These are actually good little moves that are happening. If I go to the four hour time frame, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, it's gonna, be a little bit less liquid looking. But the truth is that we found our bottom right there and it seems to be bouncing back and forth. So the benefit of going to something like the, the 30 minute time frame, the 15 minute time frame, or even the five minute time frame is that we can identify support and resistance with the TBO. We can identify when we might see some form of a reversal and we can trade also the ping pong effect with the TBO. Buying here at our support line, selling up here at our resistance line, all within the liquidity that's provided for us here using the Better Crypto Scanner. So let's go ahead and look at some information here on the right side of this trading pair, just to give us a little bit more details as to what happened. 
So the spread is based off of the rolling 24 hour period measured in the distance between the lowest price and the highest price over the last 24. So the number is different because more than 24 hours has passed since the pump. Let's go to the daily time frame, and we're going to see that, yep, we're right here. So we're measuring the low to the high. So this is actually correct. It's 120% because we're in a new 24 hour period. So we see the high and the low and the last. This is really important to see right here. Near 24 hour low tells us how close is the current price, the last price from the low. And this near 24 hour low says that the last price is 8.8% .8 higher than the low. This is really, really beneficial because we can start to sort by this. I'm gonna go 24 hour low, low to high. So we're still focusing on things that have pumped more than 20%, but we're focusing now on charts that are on the lower side of that. So I can go here and click on turbo. This has had a spread of 22%. It doesn't necessarily mean that this one has had a mega pump, but what we can gather from it is that the last price is near the 24 hour low of the period. Sometimes this will indicate a chart that is really just dumping and diving. Sometimes it's telling us that there was a really big pump and now the chart is recovering after being pumped. So here's a good example here on the one day. There was a really big, well, not really big compared to the other one, but a 34% pump on LAT USDT. And now we have the price returning back to where it was. Let's go to the hourly time frame. So this is a perfect example of why the scanner is useful. Coming right here to LAT, the last price is 4% higher than the low of the last 24 hour period, meaning that the price has likely pumped, which it has, and now this means that we have an excellent area of re-entry. Using the TBO on the hourly, we can see that this is a good range to look for a second entry. Why? This is AB trading, this is how it works. We place our orders here, and using a tool like three commas, Pinex or all trading, we can try to take profit here using the TBO. We can try taking profit into this wick with multiple sell orders, taking profit here, taking profit here and here and here all the way up. We can do lots of different things with these creative trading tools, especially when we're using split targets like on three commas and all trading. The important part to recognize about all of this is that the scanner is central to it. You don't have to sign up for anything doesn't cost anything, there's no emails, there's no tracking. It's literally just a free crypto scanner that anyone can use. If you've enjoyed this video and you see any worth in using the scanner, I want you to hit the like button and also leave a comment down below. Let me know what charts that you would love to see featured in the scanner, which charts or what kind of setups you want me to share in this. And then in return, I would love for you to share this on your socials with your friends, with your trading group, all that fun stuff. So until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.